I'm Wolf McNally, the creator of Flying Logic. I'll start this with a little introduction. I started programming computers at age 11 and got my first full-time programming job when I was 14 at the very first educational software publishing company. At 17, I moved out of my parents' home in Los Angeles to my own place in San Diego, taking a position as Sega's youngest ever video game programmer. Now, in my more than four decades in the profession, I've built a track record as a creative technologist and have had the opportunity to work with a wide variety of innovative projects for well-established companies as well as startups. I even got to be the technical consultant for an episode of the hit sitcom, The Big Bang Theory, where Leonard and Sheldon had competing designs for the same iPhone app. I was asked to design the whiteboards depicting the app and make sure they accurately depicted what app developers do. So I got to design the same app twice, once Leonard's way and once Sheldon's way. But my favorite projects have been where someone brings me an unsolved problem looking for fresh perspectives and I get to conceptualize and create the solution to that problem. Flying Logic started as one such project. I was approached by a major defense contractor. As part of their advanced concepts development program, their objective was to come up with fresh approaches to course of action analysis. I was able to bring my eclectic background in computer games and human interface design to this problem, and it turns out I had another resource from my background as well. A few years prior, I had become deeply inspired by a body of knowledge around a process of continual improvement known as the Theory of Constraints, or TOC. I've always been a very visual thinker, and the TOC uses a set of visual diagramming techniques to think through complex problems. I remember reading these books thinking, there ought to be software that facilitates these techniques. I filed this thought away, and then down the road, as has happened many times in my career, I actually got to use that knowledge and write that software, which became Flying Logic. So what is the theory of constraints? Here are its key assumptions. Every system, such as a company or other organization, has a purpose or goal, the reason for that system's existence. The rate at which the system achieves that goal is called the system's throughput. And throughput is always limited by something. That something is the system's constraint. The theory of constraints uses five focusing steps to ensure continual improvement. While a system may have many constraints, usually only a very few are key. Most often, there is a single key constraint, but it may not be clear where that constraint lies. The first step is to identify it. Once the constraint is identified, it must be utilized as fully and efficiently as possible. All other processes in the system must be brought to the realization that serving the needs of the identified constraint is the highest priority. If simply managing the constraint efficiently is not enough, it must be elevated by having its capacity permanently increased. And finally, if after taking action the constraint is no longer the core constraint, it is said to have been broken. In such cases, there will inevitably arise another constraint which must be identified and managed by going through the steps again. Every improvement to a system is a change to how that system works. But to efficiently manage a system's constraint, these changes have to be carefully chosen. The developers of the theory of constraints realized that they needed a set of simple thinking tools to help organizations reason through three deceptively simple yet essential questions. What to change, to what to change, and how to cause the change. They did this by adapting the rational thinking processes used in the scientific method and developing a set of thinking process tools designed to answer these very questions. The basis of the thinking process tools is two ways of reasoning about cause and effect known as sufficient cause thinking and necessary condition thinking. Three of these tools are based on sufficient cause thinking and the other three are based on necessary condition thinking. As you can see, each tool has its place in answering these essential questions and all of these tools use the same simple visual diagramming language to make the chains of reasoning clear and easy to communicate. So, how did we create these diagrams before Flying Logic? Very often, facilitator-led groups produced thinking process diagrams using whiteboards and sticky notes. 
Such diagrams are difficult to rearrange as needed during development, and that often stifles the desire to experiment with creative what-if scenarios. Individual planners then produce thinking process diagrams using generic diagramming tools, and often become bogged down in the plethora of features these tools provide that are oriented toward design and formatting, but not towards the actual work of planning. So what's missing? We have these remarkable methodologies, the theory of constraints thinking processes. We have a dedicated group of practitioners, planners, consultants, and trainers around the world devoted to helping organizations implement the theory of constraints. What we have not had is a software package designed specifically to support the planning and communication tasks involved when working with the thinking processes. Flying logic fills this gap, making the process easier, more productive, and even enjoyable. Flying logic facilitates the construction and analysis of thinking process diagrams and encourages experimental lines of thinking and playing out multiple what-if scenarios. When you create a diagram in flying logic, you're not simply drawing you're building an actual working model of your thinking. Flying logic is useful in both group settings, where it replaces the whiteboard, and by individual planners, where it replaces more general diagramming tools. Flying logic handles the layout and formatting decisions, allowing the planner to focus on planning. Although flying logic's roots are in the theory of constraints, it turns out that I ended up creating a tool that facilitates many different critical thinking techniques. And Flying Logic users keep surprising me with the wide variety of uses they discover for it. My goal is to continue to make Flying Logic not only the best tool for TOC techniques, but simply the best tool for all kinds of critical thinking. Because critical thinking has never been more critical. <laughs>